What's up guys, my name is AR and welcome to PC Building Simulator. As you see behind me, today we're gonna build one of those. We're gonna build a, a, a PC, a PC. Um, and today's gonna be more of a tutorial guide. Um, so, to start off this game, this game is very early access by the way. So it is kinda choppy, it is kinda laggy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Clang clonk, anyone in there? Um, this this guy's basically like your very old PC. Um, so as you can tell by the monitor, there was obviously in this section over here, there was this giant uh, hamster wheel, and uh, inside would be a mouse running towards that direction to where the the screen would be, and the power would flow all the way uh, in the back here. As you can see, it's very chunky to this part, which was the screen, and basically the image was. Um, whatever the mouse was thinking of, okay? So anyway, this game is basically a game that teaches you how to uh, build a PC. There's only one reason why I'm doing this. Well, there's only two reasons why I'm doing this. Uh, one, because I just wanted to play it. And uh, two is because we're going to be doing this very soon. Me and a couple of friends, we're going to be doing this very soon. But uh, we're going to go right in. and You can buy items over here, but I'm not going to do that because if I press I, I have this whole array of items over here. I guess we can go at some standoffs. Now standoffs are the things that your motherboard rests on. Um, and depending on your motherboard, then you know how many you need to put in. But since I don't know what motherboard it is, I'm just going to put all of them. And ow, this is going to take a while. Be right back. So now we've got our standoffs on. Standoffs, as I said, they prevent your motherboard in the back of your PC case from touching. Um, usually, the next thing I do is I put an IO shield right over there. Now, the IO shield goes for here, and it's like basically like uh, all of your ports and stuff like that. It prevents dust from entering and all of that. Next, we can add, um, I guess we can add a power supply next. Right there. That's a 500 watt. If it's a gaming PC, it'll run it, but once it gets up and started with games, that ain't gonna last long. We need like at least like a, a thousand watt or a nine, 1,500 watt or something. Uh, I guess we can add the motherboard in. Ah, look at that. The motherboard. So yeah, if you guys look over here, oh god, table bitch. If you guys see over here, then all of this blocks all of the ports. Um, so yeah. I guess I'm going to explain everything to you. So, these blue things around this, okay, this gray center over here, this metallic gray center, that's what, that's where your CPU goes. That's where the entire brains of everything goes. Uh, around it, all these blue things here around it, they're all heat sinks. They're drawing heat away from the CPU. This is your RAM slots. The RAM goes in here, but if you put one in the black, you have to put the other one in the black as well. If you have four that's identical, you match them two for two. You with me? Okay. Uh, this is your uh, power plug where your power cable comes in here. It's like 24 pin, I think, if I'm not mistaken, and it plugs right in here. These are your SATA cables. Um, this is your CMOS battery, this white circle over here. These are all miscellaneous motherboard items like your lights and your, um, like your power buttons and things like that. I don't know, stuff like that. And then these are your PCI slots. These over here are your PCI slots. You can put like a graphics card in there. You can put sound cards. Well, this has like three in it for some reason. I don't know, but uh, and then usually like this block over here. Well, it's like a little bit smaller than this. This block where my cursor is over right now. That uh, there's one smaller than that, and that's like your PCI Express slot. So you can put like a a capture card in there. So like um, Elgato capture cards and things like that. All of that things, it's cool things. Um, I guess we can add our CPU now. Our dummy CPU. Uh, lift the little case up. Now your CPU is really expensive and that looks like an Intel i7. So you're just gonna put that in. Your CPU is really expensive. Um, and uh, the, the thing about your CPU is got these teeny tiny little pins on it, right? So when you put it in, there's usually like a yellow arrow that tells you which way to put it in. Um, and then when you close it, it's probably the scariest part in building a PC. Because when you close it, you have to pull the pin down and 
really push it down and lock it under and that's um like really scary because if you put your pit your um cpu in wrong then all the pins get bent so if you guys watch um wait i can click on that you gotta really bring this pin down and lock it underneath and that's what bends your pins and if you bend those pins then you lose yourself 24 million thousand dollars i guess we can put in the ram next so ram god why aren't you opening oh there we go right ah uh, okay you know what? i'll be right back when i open all of these okay so i got all the pins open now your ram is the easiest thing to put in it only goes in one way and you push it down and things clip up on their own Easiest thing about your PC, so if you watch, if I put one in the blue, it clips up on its own, then I have to put the other one in the blue. I never put them next to each other. If you have four identical ones, it doesn't really matter. If you have two identical ones, it must be in the same color. But since we have four identical ones, I'm just gonna put all, ooh, come on, all four in. All four are in, nice, done. Um, I guess we can add our cooler. Because cooling is actually a thing. Well, first we need thermal paste. There we go. Now, thermal paste is really important because um, usually the back of your cooler is copper. And when that sits directly on top of your CPU, it's not going to draw heat efficiently away from it. So thermal paste, it, you put a little pea-sized blob or whatever. There's a lot of debate on how much you actually put. But you put a little blob on your little CPU, then you get your cooler, and you put, where's my cursor, there it is, you put your cooler on top, and it draws heat away more efficiently, and god that is an ugly cooler. I hate stock coolers, they're so ugly. Um, and actually, yeah, okay, I can actually crouch. I guess we can add our graphics cards right now. Yeah, so usually when you put in your graphics card in your PCI slot, the top slot is usually for your most powerful, well, your most powerful card. So it's usually like a, don't quote me on numbers, but it's like a time 16. Um, and that's for your most powerful one. Then the one below it will be like, uh, like a times three or times eight. Don't quote me on numbers again. Um, so let's put the bottom one, then let's put the top one. And those are fat GPUs. Oh God, those are fat GPUs. And you see these little um, white parts over here that I'm hovering over right now? Um, those usually, um, well these these are like SLIs, but if you do like AMD versions, um, like, give me a brand, let's think about it. MSI, because they do really great gaming PCs, not sponsored by MSI. Then you get this little bridge that you, um, you plug into these parts, oh god, you plug into these parts, and then what it basically does is you get the full-on power of both of your GPUs. And it runs amazing. Uh, I guess we're going to add some storage in next. Because that is a thing on PCs. On PC, on PCs, rather. These better be one or... These better be two terabytes each. Um, a DVD drive. No one uses a DVD drive. I guess we can install it. Comment down below if, you, if, you, if any of you use a DVD drive that's on your PC right now. Do you? Do you really? Oh, that looks... Oh, no one uses it anymore. I mean, I have it on my laptop, obviously. Never been used. Um, I guess we can add some fans, because we need to make this, like, really cool. Can I put one up there? No? There's supposed to be a fan up here as well that acts like your exhaust. Can I put one here? Yeah, so that's your exhaust. There should be one exhaust here on the top, but apparently I can put it here. I have I have three fans. Why can't I not put another one? Can I put one in the back somewhere? No. Can't put it anywhere else. We just have an extra fan for no reason. Really? Okay. Um. Damn it! I wish I could put this third fan in. I don't know why. I, it, usually one goes on top and that's another exhaust. Um, what can we add next? Uh, I guess we can add in our, our drive covers, I guess. Uh, bleh. Uh, bleh. There we go. Um, 
Uh, what else can we do? Can I wire this up? Let's see. You, no, it, it doesn't work. Usually what it is, if you press F1, then um, you can actually wire this PC up. Uh, I tried to put the wiring in here, but my F1 is my volume button, so it unmutes the sound, and there is no sound on this game, so I have to add it in post. And this little gap over here, usually, um, if you're not using a stock cooler, your cooler comes with a bracket, and you put on here, and your cooler goes on the other side, you screw it in. And that's usually what it is. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible, because, you know, it's difficult uploading and things like that, and editing especially. So we'll just put the back panel on. I wish I could have wired this up, that would have been really cool. Let's see, did we get everything? We got a graphics card, CPU, motherboard, memory, storage, power supply, cases, cooling. Uh, cooling, well we have one fan left, but so... And that's basically your PC done. That's basically it done. Obviously if you're... If you're doing it in, in the real life, you know, if you're doing it IRL, then um... Obviously, there's a lot more things because then you have to use that band to stop static from happening to your to your uh, CPU and things like that, so it doesn't get damaged. But once again, this is a simulator. It's a thing that I found on itch.io. If you guys want this game, you guys can go check it out. Itch.io. I may put a link down in the description below because this is a really cool game. And if this thing was like to teach people how to build PCs, I guess it'll make it really helpful. So we just built a PC. We built a PC. Um, and this is really a weird room over here that we're in. Just saying that. There's no cameras or anything. Can I just leave? I wonder. No? Okay. So yeah, this game is still early access, by the way. And as you can probably see, it's a little bit choppy. Um, but yeah, this, this has been PC Building Simulator. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned anything, um, then leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Because... <sighs> PCs are awesome. Subscribe if you love technology. But anyway, thanks again, and as always, until next time, game on!